Hey guys, it says solve for x, x squared equals one. So I think I wanna use logarithms to solve this. So let's copy down the x squared equals one and let's make some room so we can plug in the natural log. So before we move on, we have to verify that x does not equal zero. And if we check up here, zero is not a solution to this. So we know that x does not equal zero. So now we can move on. One of the properties of logarithms is this exponent can be brought to the front. So we end up with two natural log of x equals natural log of one. The input of a natural log must be positive, so let's make this absolute value of x. It wasn't an issue before because it was being squared, but now it's no longer being squared. Next, let's divide both sides by two. These twos cancel, so on the left-hand side, we just have the natural log of x. And on the right-hand side, another way to rewrite this is one half natural log of one. So just like before, when we brought the two to the front, this one half can become the exponent. So the one half exponent means the same thing as the square root. So one to the one half is the same thing as the square root of one. And let's bring down the rest of this stuff. So natural log of square root of one is just natural log of one. And next, for both sides of the equation, we're gonna do e to the power of. e to the power of and natural log are inverse operations, so the left-hand side is just gonna be absolute value of x. And on the right-hand side, same thing, so we're just left with one. And now we have the absolute value of x is equal to one. In order for this to be true, the x inside the absolute value would have to be either one or negative one. And that's the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. So if you ever see x squared is equal to one, we know that x is equal to one or negative one. How exciting.